yells now. We Squawking Dead, a podcast pulverizing episodes beyond the Walking Dead universe. News laugh deep. That's our new motto. <laughs> I'm your host, David Cameo, and I'm joined by Sharon D. A.K. Blazing Gardner and Bridget, ko-fi.com slash punky brewster. That's B-U-N-K-Y-B-R-U-A-S-E-T-E-R. So Rachel's going to be here at some point. Guess why we're here, everybody? Guess why? It says it in the title, but guess why we're here? So Bridget and Aiden, mostly, as well as me for a little while, a little under half the while, we broke the news that was coming out of one WonderCon, the WonderCon panels, the Walking Dead Dead City, and Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 panel. One of the things that came out of it was the trailer, and I think you guys semi broke it down. I saw it in the car, mm -hmm. uh, you guys breaking down the, the panel. But we decided that we would just come on once more to break down the trailer with you guys. Specifically, you know, not everybody's available on a Saturday in the evening. So we figured we'd you know, come on, we'll show you guys the trailer while we go frame by frame. Now, one thing that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to play it all the way through because we got a copyright strike for that trailer just today we got it today and oh. I, it's a good thing youtube has this new feature where you can dispute it or you can jump to the appeal that you will undoubtedly get after 30 days <laughs> so <laughs> you can actually jump to appeal the catch is that if they dispute that with enough evidence we can get a copyright strike an actual copyright strike so i don't well, know i don't know it might be good then that i was pausing it over and over again <laughs> <laughs> yeah well the second time i remember i think you played it straight through the first time around is what I, I remember from when I was watching in the car. Yeah, I didn't That's really think did about it. I'm sorry, dude. It's not your fault. And in fact, it's completely disputable. So plus there was frame skip and everything. But hey, everybody in the chat. Hey, Crystal Jordan, Mr. Blue Man. Yeah, I'm Mr. Blue Man. But that's, the, that's uh, weird. Blah. That's yeah. a new name for you, but OK. And David's David <laughs> saying with my glowing skin and Brian, what's up, buddy? I hope you're around so you could be with us in the chat. And hey, Aiden, thank you for helping out Bridget on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I saw some of that. He does have a little blue tint going on. I there. know. Oh, like, yeah. It's like you're part. You want to be part of the Blue Man Group. Oh my God, you're he's like Papa Tobias. Smurf. He's Papa okay. Smurf. And you're my Smurf. My that Smurfette. Is, that is his new name. How's this? Oh, he doesn't want to be Tobias. Fumke. How's this? How's this? You can just you can tell everyone that you just blew yourself, Dave. <laughs> If only. We have some really cool goodies that charity has been thinking up lately leading up to Fear the Walking Dead. We're just talking about it before the show went on and we're going to be talking about it again after the show, after this is over. So uh, we have some pretty cool fear goodies. We're getting really hyped up about Fear's final season, obviously, so we just okay. don't want it to go. And uh, we will share some stuff with you as uh, in our Discord, our Discord at some point, right, Charity? <laughs> share with the peoples at some point. And we'll get, we'll definitely be including some audience, audience feedback stuff too. So I guess we should start with the trailer. See, I've been trying to bide my time, see if Rachel comes on. So, all right, let's let's get into this. We'll go frame by frame as much as possible. Okay, so Morgan has just got D black bagged again. <laughs> D black bagged. <laughs> Wonder what that's all about. Do you think the guy that's speaking right now is the same guy that uh, that picks up Rick from the helicopter at the end of the Walking Dead's series finale? Because it seemed like it might be just because of the way the voice modulation is. And I've heard people speculating that that was Strand in the helicopter, and I don't. Think that that strand on the intercom there. I don't think so either. Some people have said Troy. That's Troy. Troy Auto. Because oh, I've heard. <laughs> I've heard a whole lot of Troy coming back too. Yeah, there's been a yeah. lot of talk about that. Yeah. Wait, Takira, when you say him, who do you mean? She says, "Yes, I definitely think that's him for some reason." So, or do you mean it's the same voice as the guy from the helicopter, the CRM helicopter? And Crystal says it sounds like Strand. And I'm glad that Brian's here. No work today. I'll be here the whole day. And sanity afterwards. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brian. <laughs> Brian says Troy is a huge yes, one. That's a huge one to say. <laughs> If they brought Troy back, it would be for a flashback. I can't imagine what else they would do with him. Yeah, I was thinking Gavin Ghost. I mean, how many times can we do this? You're not gone until you're gone, crap. One of the things they said in the panel was that a lot of these characters are going to come full circle and that their ghosts and their past are going to haunt them. So I could completely, totally see Madison flashing back to mm -hmm. Troy. Mm -hmm. And wh why she did what, what she did with him, basically. What I took from the panel was they said that we are going to find out what happened between the stadium and oh finally and, backtracking right I would they love said we, that, were, yeah. we are gonna find that out yeah oh okay I didn't that, know that. that was what i took yeah that was what i took from what they said and takira qualifies she says not to me anyway not strand i was thinking it was the voice talking to rick from the helicopter okay cool brian says i would love to have walker kalataka walker back but if we never seen a body it's possible though so i i'm very pro kalataka walker coming back actually. i love taka he is one of my favorite and, and characters crazy dog. he just 
got killed off in 1923. So he, he did. So he's hey, free. Spoiler alert. He's free for filming. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. I love him. So what if that's their method, right? This Padre group's method of maybe making a whole complete self. Like is that they put their captives in like some sort of uh, psychedelic state. We're going to see the shot where they have the walker head strapped over the little kid. Mm. It was what something you just said may triggered that for me. Like that, that's maybe part of it. Yeah. Or, or wait, we have an example of this. Remember in season three, when they go to the Proctor's market. Yeah, actually Troy and it's Troy and Nick take the zombie psychedelic brain. zombie brain. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe there's something to that. I, I I don't know. Brian says he said he didn't want to come back without Kim Kalataka or, or uh, Michael Gray eyes uh, without Kim. So thinking emoji and Crystal says, I need to listen to the trailer again to focus on the voice to figure out who it is. The guy in the helicopter definitely sounds like Strand. Okay. I mean, I'm open to it and voice modulate. We've said this before. Do you remember when it was Margo on the radio at the end of season nine? Mm -hmm. Margo Bingham. Yeah. And we were like discussing how it's very easy to not know who somebody is because of like AM radio and telephone stripping out certain frequencies from the voice. So you really can't really tell who was speaking on the phone, let's say. And people were speculating wildly of, of over who was saying what to whom. And so anything is possible. And there is a bit of voice modulation going on here too in this voice. There's like a, there's two different tones overlapping one another too. I'd like to think that it's the guy who was talking to Rick and the, the only reason is because it doesn't sound exactly like it. Well, it's probably not going to be anybody that we know. Let's be honest. Or the person we'd least suspect. <laughs> it's it, Madison again or, somehow. You know what? I'll throw a wild card out there. I mean, it could be Travis. We never found a body. We never found a body. I mean, I was, right? thank you. Thank but you. For, I was waiting I'm for you to sorry. say that. He fell out of a fucking helicopter. He fell out of a helicopter. I mean, I, I am sorry. It happened, but <laughs> a bullet shot through his body vertically. Like, he didn't get the easy way out. It no. went through his ass and out his neck or like out his yeah. shoulder or something. Yeah. It's rough stuff, yo. All right, there's Morgan. Oh man, okay. Let that doesn't, back. yeah, that's not strange. Okay. Right. So it's a Padre voice. This looks like there's like a walker here and another walker here, but it looks like they're on stilts. They look much taller. Oh, oh unless, unless these are kids and it looks like these, these might be kids. kids. Those, those are, are kids. kids. Those are kids. And those are, those are just, I thought those were just adults wearing these weird kingdom esque uniforms that you see up at the front of the screen with this weird mask headpiece combo with the weird old sports equipment chess piece right that oh, was yeah. my assumption when you i was looking that. at this yeah yeah this looks like um star wars tatooine star warsy kind of jedi it does. yeah here. it does <laughs> yeah i was trying to place like what exactly it was i'm like this is something i feel like we've seen before well so if you're looking at all these jumpsuits in the field these look like young adults these orange jumpsuits these look like little kids in these yellow jumpsuits i believe my like exact term was baby felons <laughs> baby felons that's right these definitely aren't real walkers Jerry and Dwight's kid is in orange and he can only be like, what is this? If it's a seven year time jump, he can only be six or seven years old unless we're going more than seven years. Mm. Bridget, when they were talking about the time jump, did they talk about how much time? They must have because everyone kept saying seven years and mm -hmm. no one knows where that came from. So it must have been in the panel. There was the assumption that they were trying to catch up to the Walking Dead. So that's where but they But even got if you from. go seven years, there's still a year behind. Yep. Because we're talking about six plus about two more years. So it would be, have to be eight year time jump. Brian says he was bit though. Wait, who, who were we talking about back then? He was bit though. Travis. Travis. Yep. Oh, was he bit too? No. He was bit on his way to the helicopter and he shows. Oh, okay, he shows okay. Alicia and then he's shot. Also, it'd be cool cameo if we got Tobias. God damn it, Brian. No, Tobias. Yes. Okay, so. A Tobias sighting. Yes, Brian. No, yes. No, no. Yes. Yes. I don't want to hear yes, that name yes. ever again. I want season eight to finish and no Tobias and be like, <laughs> shut up about Tobias. Okay. So basically, they truly are kidnapping people's kids for life. Here says, what the actual fuck? Yeah. And training them too. These walkers mm -hmm. out here aren't walkers. They're like dummy walkers. It looks like they're on stands. And it looks like they're Oh, that look makes this, much more sense. Look at this guy running around, like running around the, the guy, and there's they're like stabbing him and stuff. And right, yeah. Oh, and later on there's a shot of it's either the trailer or it's a still mm -hmm. of Mo fighting. They oh uh, like uh, fighting a walker or something. You know we're gonna call her baby Mo forever now, right? Just because <laughs> yeah. of all the crying last season. It's just unavoidable. Yeah, look at this emblem here. I don't know if you can make this out. It looks like there's like a, fi a fireflies <laughs> emblem back here. <laughs> the last of us persists. <laughs> so uh, that could be like their Padre symbol. 
They're getting uh, Madison's air tanks. There. Right. <laughs> we also like, wheeling oxygen around. Yep. Madison's uh, getting the royalty treatment here. Is that somebody sitting at a table back there that we know? Could that possibly be Madison oh, uh, back here in the corner sitting next? On the right? On the right. On the right? Yeah. It does kind of look like her. So the one on the right, just just the right of the, the hanging. Right. The, the deer, the I guess. Kiss. The buck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, kind of. It doesn't really look like her, though. It's, it's some other blonde lady teaching kids, though. It looks like they're learning in like tiny, tiny pods, little classrooms, two students pop. And there's some food here. <laughs> Takir says, why does that look like Dwight to me? Where? Oh, on the right? The lady. <laughs> The lady, you know, it might not be a lady. I don't pre, know. Pre beard so. Dwight. I, I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> I'd say that's more likely than Kim Dickens. <laughs> Austin Emilio. Brian says, "Give me C- season three TWD vibes at the prison cookout." Look at Mo. Mm. She would only be like eight or nine years old at this point if it's a seven year time. There is no way that that kid is like seven or eight years old. There has to be a longer well, time zone. Well, the question is, is that Mo? Is that baby Mo? Well, either way, you see her later on, and she yeah. does look older than that. Right. And she calls Morgan dad, I think, in the later on in it, too. So. Mm-hmm. Not Abaji? Anyway, sorry. So th- this is Morgan, right? Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> like turning my head. Ooh, Morgan. <laughs> Morgan. Morgan looking pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. Real sweaty. It's like, rem- well, I think it's like he's being rained on or something. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This sure is like- it's- oh, yeah. Sure, oh, it's rain. Sure, it's rain. Okay. Yeah. Right. Rain and train tracks, too, if you, if you notice. Which <laughs> he looks like. He looks like me after the gym, you know what I mean? Which, by the way, <laughs> so train tracks, Sonoy, Alexandria, train tracks mm. where Denise, uh, Dr. Denise Cloyd was shot through the arrow and Dwight and well, and Dwight was the one who did it. So this could be back in Alexandria, quote unquote, because I think this is another hallucination. If Troy's a hallucination, Morgan going back to Alexandria, I think is going to be a hallucination. We'll get to that part, too. Well, he doesn't go back to Alexandria. He goes back to King County. Oh, right. King County, Georgia. Right. Well, they are in Savannah, too. But are they officially on the show in Savannah? They haven't said. I don't think that's a hallucination because Grace and Mo are also there. Yeah. I, 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 don't think that's a I don't think that's a hallucination. Mm. I think they're trying to get away. And they right. end up, and they end up going back. Well, well, we'll talk about that more when we get there. But, but would you guys agree that this is probably reminiscent of like Alexandria, the train tracks, etc.? Or, or do we not have enough info? Later on, we also see that Dwight and Sherry are in a train compartment, mm-hmm. and they're also on a tra- on the back of a train. So maybe they do make it to Alexandria, or maybe they make it to Terminus. Maybe it's a Terminus they callback. Fix up a train this time. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. We've just checked every box here. Make sure. Yeah. Make okay. Now I can't say planes, trains, or automobiles automobiles or i can't say the cure anymore <laughs> the cure <laughs> haunts my night my dreams takir says oh my god it's true it is either more than seven years or double time jump yeah we fear the walking dead could be further further along than the walking dead at this rate because of this which is pretty harrowing too when you think about how much time they've spent at padre crystal jordan says could it be connected to the commonwealth yeah that's kind of what i was thinking when uh you talked about dwight and sherry can you hear me this looks like when they just get off of the boats and stuff like when they get to padre or something it reminds me of the the buried zombie heads oh right at the beach in c Yep. on at the end of season I mean seven. look there's like there's walkers right behind them coming out of the water mm-hmm. yeah there's Madison doesn't that look like Isabel right here on the left that's what everybody kept saying in the live stream that that looked like <laughs> Isabel but it's definitely not her for sure I'm just gonna say and this looks like Pope's hat I'm just kidding <laughs> it's now, pulled up as high as Pope's hat that's now, for sure <laughs> I know, high and tight Brian's <laughs> Brian just randomly says Western Alliance, and I'm hoping that does link with that scene in the Walking Dead season ten, where Michonne goes off with the the big horde of people mm. with uh, cowboyish outfits. But yeah, Brian, feel free to qualify. Takira says if we want to see a Morgan Rick U- reunion, I think they do have to pass the TWD timeline. Yep, yeah, I they agree. They do, yeah. Also, I'm dying for a Rick Madison meet. <laughs> I've been wanting that since season one of Fear. She's shipping Radisson. <laughs> <laughs> Radisson at the Radisson. <laughs> Radisson. <laughs> But like how, where in the... Yes, they better show Tobias. Yes, to I'm going to ban you from the chat. You can take your money back. <laughs> I don't want your survive. By the way, thank you, Takir. I'm going to say this out loud. I had just seen, because I was out, I had to leave on Saturday. I just saw that you became a Survivor Seer member, which means, well, why aren't you here with us right now? Survivor yeah, members what? Get to join us on stream, usually. First of, I, look in the Discord. <laughs> anyway, I'll, let's, I'll let's go to this. And the reason why I say that this is most likely after the boat 
that they're on or something is because Morgan still has his staff and later on he has a different weapon or and Madison still has or the sledgehammer she had at the end of season seven. If you look right here or mm. here, here is relative. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. And Can you hear me? All right, Sharon, I know you have a lot to say about this. <laughs> On the panel, Jenna was was saying that June is very dark this season and kind of gone rogue because of the manipulation. And she Morgan. didn't say who by, but somebody is manipulating her through the people that she loves. So she's she she gave a very interesting analogy. She said that when she was a a teenager, she went to the beach and she got she kept getting hit by waves over and over and over again, and because nobody told her that she could just go through the wave. And she said that's kind of where June is at now. She's hanging on to her last breath. And she's just totally in this dark and terrible place because all of her traumas have waterfalled all over her, you know? Mm -hmm. So I am super excited because remember in season six, I wanted June <laughs> to break June. fucking bad. Remember, I wanted June to fucking break bad. Somebody was and listening. she did a little bit. She did a little bit because she fucking blew Jenny's head off. It was great. <laughs> but I fucking wanted her to break bad. And I, I think I'm getting it this season. So I am really fucking excited. Well, either way, it looks like she's not joining the program that Padre has laid out or Morgan's program about trying to mm. break everybody out or get everybody home safe or whatever it is. I like it. I'm, it's very um, I'm Rambo. Super, uh, you are you are like the fifth, because I listened to some other people breaking down the trailer and uh, everybody's like, June, they keep calling June Rambo. And the other mm -hmm. thing is they're all talking about her arms. The her gun arms show, baby. Like, yeah, that's what guns, I said man. when she popped up. I was like, dude, yeah. she's looking ripped. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I swear, I, she's screaming Sarah Connor T2 to me. The outfit, the gun, Guns, the guns. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you can't do any better than Linda Hamilton, Sarah Connor. Except for June Dory. An icon. A fucking icon. Two icons. <laughs> Brian qualified his statement. He says, uh, you mentioned it being connected to the Commonwealth. Perhaps this group could be that. We're behind the Commonwealth right now. So maybe there's the early workings of the Western Alliance. However, that's tricky because if this is the Western Alliance, but Fear of the Walking Dead is currently ahead of the Walking Dead, then it wouldn't be because that showed up just before the Whisper War. So it's a bit messy so it depends on how far long the time jump is if it's seven years then yes if it's eight years or more it's not possible but hey listen i'm not in charge of the timeline <laughs> scott gimple is so uh <laughs> the gimp is sorry i shouldn't say that ever again i'm sorry now that now i have more gimp. things i can't say on the show <laughs> I can't call crystal says badass june she better have a spinoff oh i don't know i think they're destined to put that to bed uh, if you're the walking dead to bed and brian says june has nothing to lose at this point yeah technically no she does not have anything to lose at this point. Yeah. So who is she? Who is she reserving herself for at this point? David Kronza says, we believe stars and hearts and eyes, uh, eyes emojis. Very, very cool. I am so ready for Dark June Carol edition, <laughs> Takira says. And Crystal says, I blame Morgan. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. I blame Morgan too. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't blame wow. anybody. Wow. Wow. I blame Morgison. <laughs> Morgison. <laughs> Morgison. Kronza says, have, have they made that? What a horrifying Photoshop that would be. <laughs> oh, you know what? So, yeah. So to Brian's point, have they made that time jump yet? At this point, no. The trailer clearly shows Morgan and Madison getting off uh, to the shore, let's say, but with their the weapons that they had from season seven. But at some point they will. So I wonder, maybe they still have time. Maybe to your point, Brian, maybe they have some time for some of people to branch off or maybe they defeat Padre right away. And whatever they're dealing with right now is some sort of offshoot of that or recovery group of that. I don't know. Takira says, I blame Morgan for being awesome. Yeah, me too. Here are two things can be read at the same time. Let's keep going, everybody. <laughs> Do you think any time that they head to Padre, the senator has to guide them there? It's required. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have to follow this walker. <laughs> Okay, that so, is how Madison is gonna find Alicia again. <laughs> Madison is gonna oh, follow the, the senator I and we find got Alicia this guy. <laughs> in the last season. But you know, you know why uh, I I laugh so hard at that is that because the reason why it's so funny is because all of us, all of us thought, even if it was just for a few seconds, that well, maybe maybe walkers contain memories from their form. Maybe well, they do. and then and we're like, that's so stupid. They can't do anything. And then bam, variants happened. So uh huh. True. True, but that was until way later. But remember, we were also like, well, I mean, it, it is kind of ridiculous, but then at the same time, you have Teddy Bear Girl who bent down and picked up a fucking And Jenny Jones and all 
all that other stuff people have said Experience. over the years. The mm-hmm. walkers running after Sophia in the woods wouldn't, really fast. But God, wouldn't that just be the worst? So in the in The Last of Us, Sam asks Ellie, if we turn into a monster, are we still us inside, right? Mm. So the more I think about that, the more it horrifies me that you are aware that you're being manipulated and doing this shit and you can't isn't stop that, it. Isn't that the scariest thing? Living inside your own head? In this context where you're dead and you're a zombie, but you still remember these things and you still have these trace feelings and how fucking awful it is uh i it just it hurts me to think about it well i see i happen to think of it the other way only because technically i separate the memories or the memories that you have from the you that you are and so once you're gone your memories are a thing on their own let's just pretend that we live in a world where after you die your memories continue to be stored in the cells in your brain so all the dead are doing are accessing a piece of your memory and associating it with movement same like muscle memory it's like they they for some reason it's strong enough for them to associate with that thing even though you're not there anymore. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Disassociation from who you are as a person. Even your memories are kept undead, in a sense. I don't know. Brian says variants were always a thing. Oh, and there was a sign that said Padre is a lie. Uh, I see. And Mitchell says, hello, just got off work. Hey, Mitchell, producer Mitchell, you know, you got to make that money to keep our podcast going. Takira says, <laughs> <laughs> he's not an executive producer just yet. He doesn't have enough money. Takira says, uh, I was like, oh my God, the walker's going to lead them to the promised land. <laughs> Laughing emoji into your hand. Uh, walker's come the ladder in season one. Yep. Chain link fence remember they use rocks to bang on the window yeah they mm-hmm. they were using they tools were them all yep and brought that back again in the hospital in season 11 last mm-hmm. episode yeah. crystal says what show brian <laughs> this show <laughs> Well, the walking, <laughs> the walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Okay, so let's keep going. We got Sh- Dwight and Sherry here with a very, very big antenna walkie-talkie mm-hmm. that we can't hear the conversation from, I don't think. I just want to say that Sherry has recovered from her birth extraordinarily well. It looks really good. <laughs> well, it's Christine. Well, this, doesn't this go in line with most things, right? They all have clean teeth. They, uh, they, they all look pretty clean as people on a zombie apocalypse show. She has a nice stylish scarf going on in the apocalypse. Yeah, listen, even in the apocalypse what underwear are you wearing <laughs> what is it what's what's her show's what's the show <laughs> half naked yeah. with christine evangelista what's the yeah. first question she asks <laughs> what underwear what are you underwear wearing? are you wearing what kind of underwear are you wearing uh, sherry what kind of underwear are you wearing in the apocalypse <laughs> isn't that ask. something that you would kind of run out of fairly soon right yeah you have to kind of go commando at some point cloth diapers or make a comeback you're right right you make your your own underwear you just kind of like, like I cloth. think you just go commando you just use all the scarves you refuse to use in life it before the apocalypse you just use make to make how underwear. many scarves do you have? I have like nine scarves and I don't use any of them. It's far too many scarves for one person. I have two bandanas. I could maybe tie them together and make one. <laughs> I, I'd say I want to see that, but I really don't. No, we do not want to see that. We don't. Like conceptually, I'd like to see how that works out. Maybe you'll just let us know how that works out. Crystal says White and Sherry need to have a spinoff so they can go after Negan. <gasps> Crystal Jordan. Negan is not redeemed. And of course, I'm sorry, Negan. Negan, they'll have to fight Maggie for that. So. Right. I get to kill him. That's not what she wants to do with him. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, come on. <laughs> Enough. Enough of Enough. this. She wants to stab him, but she didn't specify with what. Oh, God. Takira's <laughs> tipped his oh, three. God coffees thank you takira and you too can use the qr code in the top left hand of the screen to buy us a coffee and tip us during the stream if you want to you don't have to you get 30 days of supported back content if you do so thank you and david Carranza posts some underwear emojis brian says on the teeth thing i'm not sure but not eating sur- sugary crap and other junk would help your teeth not go bad i could be wrong uh actually so it's funny i've seen little studies and, and video studies of people who don't brush their teeth eat greek yogurt to try to kind of minimize mm. bacteria and then it doesn't work out. This just just trust me. If there's toothbrushes, then you can hold it back. Before toothbrushes were created, people would take little sticks, twigs, and peel the bark back and get to the pulpy inside and like make that chew on it until it was a little brush. And then they would use that to brush their teeth. And there were some trees that had antiseptic properties to them. When you did that, it mm-hmm. would clean your teeth really well. So just because you don't have toothbrushes and stuff, yeah, you can get by. Doesn't, you know, you can still get by. But I could see that like not having a sugary diet would help that because you wouldn't be having all the good to know though i'm gonna need to look up what tree that is for my prepping thanks 
the apple a day keeps the doctor the doctor away i think it was also like because of the fruit sugar would help with that too it's actually the way that your teeth have to work through the apple it helps to clean off your teeth and Mm -hmm. in between your gums right that is scientifically proven to help it doesn't fix everything right still became an industry for a reason which goes back to my comment which is like they look perfect everybody's teeth looks perfect everybody's (laughs) hair is clothed they're actors so yeah there you go i mean you gotta do what you gotta do in the in the apocalypse you know what i'm saying <laughs> well, all right, but you know what okay so when we were watching the last of us and father david kept smiling like his teeth just bugged the shit out of me because they did not look super great it just stood out to me he needs to get a twig both both <laughs> extremes and that's so and you're just screwing my, like and i've been thinking about this a lot lately how people don't want to look at fugly people on tv it's true and i could go further with this but maybe we're we're, we're thinking about doing and this is just for you people if you want to do it we've been thinking about doing like raw live streams for some of our supporters where we just really get to unleash and not censor ourselves and our thoughts and get to go on a stream of consciousness thoughts that don't necessarily pertain to the walking dead we could talk about anything that you want that we want for the hour long period so consider either joining a membership tier on on our patreon or ko-fi or tipping us you know, get 30 days for the access. talk to bridget and i about yellowstone yeah exactly shit <laughs> yeah there you go put that behind a paywall we'll talk for hours <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about Yellowstone all day long. Crystal says, I will not forget Negan, Negan for what he did. And neither will Bishop or the, uh, is his name Bishop or no Armstrong on, uh, on dead city. Let's move what on. did Negan do? He oh my God. Where's, where's Rachel? He, and then she comes, she storms into the stream. <laughs> he killed Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> anyway, whatever. But he saved dogs. So, I mean, it kind of balances out a little bit. I was just listening to our podcast covering, uh, the storm, by the way, uh, was it season nine, episode 16? Actually, oh, 15 and Brian, 16. So, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what kind of Walking Dead podcast are we if we don't know what Negan did? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we just you've just undermined our entire street cred well, let me just put that up there um glenn lol <laughs> anyway i mean i am more of a fear fan so it's easy for me it's easy for me these little things i'm just telling rachel to get over here because glenn was mentioned <laughs> <laughs> Then tell her that Nacho was mentioned. That'll yeah. really get her. <laughs> from, from Better Call Saul. Okay, Lois says, I'm going to try that tree thing. Oh, wait, wait. Tell her DJ Qualls was mentioned. <laughs> well, you guys do that while I read the comments. Brian says, I'm sure they can find stores that still had them in there to scavenge. Yeah, sure. But they, and Takira says, but they always make a point to have certain people's teeth look horrific. Yep. Like Clara's. Clara? Who's Clara? Wait, who's Clara? I don't know. I stared at that for a <laughs> while trying to figure out who that was. the crazy lady in the woods that tried to feed Rick to her <gasps> husband. Yeah! Rick to her yeah. husband? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That season three or four when they were at the prison. Everybody's laughing. Glenn is my favorite. Brian says... Okay, so now we have Baby Mo, who, if you had to take a guess... She's 11 or 12. There's no freaking way she's, like, 9. She's tall. Like, I could see her she, like, being a tall 9-year-old. I could see a the tall 9-year-old. tall. But yeah, that would be ha- that would be a tall order for a 9-year-old. Yeah, I don't know, because I've lost complete touch with how old kids are, so... And I work with kids, and right. it's like, once they hit a certain point, I cannot tell how old they are anymore. Well, I'm, I'm just saying she's not, she's not, like, 8 or 9 years old. She's, well, that she's actress got, is definitely not She's not to be I mean, she's got to be like 11 or 12 there. Well, maybe we should find know. out at some point, but uh, or one, maybe one of you look up the age of the actor. But uh, all right, we got Grace. That's good. Grace is awesome. Uh, uh, there's nothing more to say, but she does have a hammer. Right? Maybe it's Madison's hammer. I wonder if they ever told Mo about her real parents. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they would have to. <laughs> They're not like Sh- Judith with Shane. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> is 50 50 on whether they told her about Lori, but she, apparently, she, apparently Judith did talk about Lori. So that happened. So Lois says, who is baby Mo? Well, if you watched Fear the Walking Dead season seven, she is the crying to hell baby in episode 702. Basically, she she arrives in season six, the end of season six, more or less, right? No, actually, from the beginning of baby Mo six. is Rachel and Isaac's baby who Mor- uh, Morgan and Grace have to adopt because Rachel gets killed and Isaac gets killed. And she 
she becomes their purpose throughout the seventh season, basically. Just want to rem- just remind everybody that Rachel is her mom. I want to remind everybody that uh, found family is a thing in the universe. I can't uh, tell if this actress is who it is, but if it's Jayla Walton, mm-hmm. she's 18. Oh my god. <laughs> she also became famous as an influencer, so I'm like, so I'm baffled thing. by so many things right now. She does not even look like an 18-year-old to me. She looks like a very young 18-looking 18, 18-year-old I'm or very old. Jayla Walton might be the older one. Okay. The, old- the only reason is because I, I can't tell because she's so makeuped up in her photos and she's literally the only new person that's been added to the list. Are you looking at IMDb? I'm just looking on Google. Okay. Let's yeah. keep going though because we're only oh, like 14 yeah, seconds in. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, Madison's tallying her days in solitary apparently maybe is what the supposed Somewhere, yeah. thing is. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Brian says there was never DNA test for Judith. You never know. I think. You know, I think we you know. know. <laughs> okay, we've got a Daniel and we've got the uh, apparently the fencing helmets, which uh, aren't really doing a great job, but uh, here we go. <laughs> I'll say what I said on the live stream. Those actors probably really appreciate it. It looks like it's probably really mosquito-y there. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> when you said Georgia. that. It's Georgia and look, that's like the swamp, the swamp lands. Yep. And uh, Daniel Salazar, people lost their minds when they saw him, apparently. Uh, yes, I'm like so thankful he's still on for yeah. real. It kind of looks like he's back where he was in his origin story sort of when he was talking about his past like in the mm, swamps of the child cetera. soldier thing yeah yep and then that's never a good thing and brian says i need old daniel back and i always say to that i say please, like in a way yes but i i liked happy daniel i liked daniel yeah. taking care of but then again it might well be because it with alexa nicenson off the show at some point i don't know when but with charlie off the show at some point yeah i could see him sliding back or i don't know maybe he takes that with him in a new way let's say like morgan in a way crystal says yes i miss old daniel Dan- and brian says daniel is my favorite on fear of the walking dead mine and too for- takira says for me daniel is like is the morgan of fear even though morgan is there now if you- if you know what i mean hey rachel what's up i'm here we- how is everyone? we mentioned we-, we evoked uh, the name of glenn and crystal says i don't forgive negan <gasps> oh. and 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 somebody said what did negan do and everybody said um <gasps> Len, lol. Oh, no, not lol. <laughs> Never lol. There you go. Oh, and Brian says, where is Skidmark? And I say, let's move where on. is Skidmark? No. Okay. Skidmark. So I knew she was coming to the show. I think she, she was the first person announced on the show, actually. And I forget her name, too. But she's been many, back, not background actor, but like like a B, like a B actor. And always a bridesmaid of the bride kind of roles. Supporting cast. Yeah. But she's excellent. She's, she's incredible. Background wouldn't have line, right? I don't remember her name, though. But apparently she has Morgan's Emil O X staff thing. Ooh. Somebody beating up Morgan. I'm all for it. Yeah. Oh, these are the she train looks... tracks, by the way, from the, I'm the so- rain. I shouldn't assume. I shouldn't assume this person is gender. She, he, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They. You shouldn't assume that. <laughs> well, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I should, I just shouldn't have made assumptions. They are very CRM. And so then now I have come to the conclusion that anytime anyone has a bad haircut, it is a CRM haircut. Right. It's <laughs> well, my new terminology. I yeah. think that's who AJ thought was Max. Yes. True story. <laughs> <laughs> AJ did think that this I was Max. That, yeah. yeah. I see that. Max. Max, one of the kids, yeah. you know. Missing missing kid Max. There is oh. definitely um, some similarity one of the, in the face. The, the kids. actress that plays Baby Mo is Zoe Merchant, and she is 12. Okay. There you go. Which she could pay, play a 10-year-old if that, that's what actors do. They don't play that. Look at Pedro Pascal. He played 32 and 54. Oh. It's, neither of those are his age. He's just, <laughs> la- the last of us. <laughs> <laughs> he also did a Merge Mansion commercial that I saw today and died laughing over. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. He also got his head splattered into a pile of goo. I'm not- that, That's awesome. That so, totally re-traumatized me. He squeezed his brains out. So, so in cool. response to Brian's where is Skidmark, Takira says the way he disappeared and popped back in from time to time. And I always love to have him back. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Crystal says, I hope the cat comes back hurting the walkers. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> I love you, Crystal, but I'd, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd see that. I'd like to see that. Sure. Whatever. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> she better get that thing out of Morgan's face, Akira says. I agree. And uh, eventually she will, because that's not how the show will end. Otherwise, big spoiler. <laughs> yeah, because Morgan. Well, look, there's the train in the back there. Yeah, so that's can... what I was saying. Mm-hmm. The tracks. Mm-hmm. That's the tracks from Morgan in the rain. Maybe after they leave him here and that's where he ends up or gets knocked out and he wakes up in the rain. Uh, who knows? Gosh, that ugly bugger on the right looks like an ex-boyfriend of mine <laughs> have you guys been at this for almost an hour and it's like and you have literally gotten like 30 seconds into it yes, <laughs> let's continue right? are you kidding me nope <laughs> 
Oh, wait, that was pretty quick. Okay, look at that. Oh, Lynch, okay. Lynch, <laughs> Lynchburg, Lynchburg, yes, Tennessee, right? Lynchburg, Virginia. Virginia. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, it's a nail. And I guess they're nailing up. What they're is nailing like a up a sign or something. This is like a terminus thing where they. Right, <laughs> it's terminus again. Oh, hello, <laughs> <they're back>. <laughs> okay, Padre is alive. This is what uh, I think what Brian was mentioning before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Morgan can't die. He needs to see Rick again. Well, I don't care about that really so much. I mean, I like I like all these things. I think I think that says Padre Isley, and that is Isley <laughs> is like the person's last name, and Padre and Padre. Isley. That's an address thing. Like that's out in front of their house, and it says Padre. So Isley. this is why we haven't made it very far <laughs> <laughs> because of these antics. <laughs> Well, that is pretty cool. Is there some? Those walkers? are the weirdest looking walkers. Like they look <laughs> like vampires. They I said, like "What? It, what in the Voldemort is this?" <laughs> <laughs> but look at the sides of their heads. It's like you know. Have you ever heard? Are of, they so smooth? You ever heard of trippin smooth brain? Where they like cut a hole in your head to let like, pressure off? And yeah, right. Like yeah. Trippin trippin yeah. Or, no. What about you? Remember the guy in um, Ripley's Believe It or Not that had the candle in his head? They put oh. candles in there and they walk them around and they're like torches. I mean, I was thinking more along the lines <laughs> of like, wouldn't this be like people? Does this look like people who died of cancer or something like that? Because their skulls are like kind of transparenty and it doesn't look like there was ever any hair on there. I did say what. Well, of Voldemort. <laughs> Honestly, you know what this makes me think of? Underground fish. The uh what are those called? Deep sea, deep sea. As opposed to no, 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 like ground ocean -like? fish. No, when you go to like a when you go to like a <laughs> cave, 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 cave fish, fish, and they're uh -huh. they are like they're like translucent. They're like skin. the tetras, right? The tetra yeah, and fish. blind. Yeah, and they're blind. They can't mm -hmm. see. It's mm -hmm. like that's what this makes me think so of. They're mole walkers. Okay. Yeah, they're mole walkers. Mole like walkers it. with little boils on their heads. You can Oh, and they're after maybe supposedly because we don't know how they paste, put they cut yeah. and paste. Yeah, those could be, those could hands look really new. Like those do not look like Walker like hands. Fresh. Well, just like the heads, yeah. they don't look that gnarly. They look just almost just turned. The heads look dead. Those hands don't look dead. Those look like regular hands. I know it's not, but it well, this is like the. Dead. Do you remember the sub? Remember when they finally got to the sub for the first time? Or I mean, first Voldemort time? was on the train. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> does kind of look like Hogwarts a sleeper Express. train. But it, so is it? Doesn't this doesn't this sort of also look like the school buses that were underground, like June and uh, yes. John Dory Sr.? Oh yeah, it does. I thought that I really thought that might have been what it was until they showed the train from the outside and right. saw them showed them standing on top of it from the outside. Gotcha. And uh, <laughs> okay, David says I love you, nerds. Brian says, Hey, look, there's Troy with a hole in the head walker. I, 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 I got the, yeah. Oh, the cameo that we wanted to see, not me. Anyway. <laughs> All right, Swamp Walkers. Okay, it looks like we're still here in this one. Could it be? Who's this? Oh, that's me. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> That's, that's not me. This guy's hair. It still looks like Morgan sort of from when they first arrived, maybe. But uh, let's see. So I read something that said, I don't I don't remember who it was, but it was a little article. And it said that 75% <laughs> of the trailer is from the first two episodes of 8A. Of 8A. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. I believe that. Well, you're saying the first half. I, I would have even said all the all of it's from the first half. But then again. No, no the first two episodes. The 75% oh. of the trailer are from the first two episodes of, of 8A. Day. Well, it seems like that maybe the, the the time jump occurs either after the at the end of the first one or or somewhere in the second one. Yeah, Emily, I agree. I dig the cinematography of the swamp so much, and I do too. I do. I love that. Mm -hmm. Something they said in the panel makes me think that we're going to get a lot of back and forth time. Oh, I have the feeling like what they're going to do is mm -hmm. show the people in the present the seven year time jump, and then go back and show what happened in that seven year. So uh, basically, season season four, mm -hmm. except not as gimmicky. Just from what they were saying in the panel i can dig it i think it was jenna but i can't remember exactly but they were like we're gonna see this person and how they're what the space they're in now but then we're also gonna see what happened to get them to that point mm. okay yeah it's nothing unusual does that not look like a crm humvee in the background this is where the crm haircut thing came from it has a turret and everything it's mad max <laughs> <laughs> 
swamp walkers. Swamp wompers. How gross they look. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. I think there's there's a walker here that everybody loved too. Eventually. Oh, look at that. There's June. <laughs> the one that I kept saying I was in love with that walker, and I was like, not June really. Smashing another walker in the face. <laughs> what? Not really. Get those okay. guns, man. Get them, June. Oh God. So what is there's Mo. Like she's just sitting there reading a book, and here comes this walker just busts up out of the floor and attacks her. Like a concrete walker. We've never seen that before, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Or, or burnt walker. Oh yeah. She's just like sitting there minding her own business. Yeah, why they gotta why why they have to be so nasty? <laughs> so like Charlie right? when Charlie was reading books on the riverside and the walker just came out of the yeah. water and attacked her. Yeah. Like, read quieter. By the way, Lois says, Well, if you're only 30 seconds in, I've not missed much. <laughs> You don't know us, Lois. You don't know us, <laughs> Lois. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Crystal says, "Is Al going to come back in season eight or in the Rick Michonne spinoff?" I don't think she's going to be in Fear season eight. I don't think personally. we're ever going to see Al again. No, I don't think ever. Al or Isabel's coming back. I can no. see you. I can see a world in if which she shows do, up in the it other won't ones. Be Maggie Grace. <laughs> oh, well, why do you say that? Yeah, I don't think Maggie Grace yeah. will come back. Uh, I don't think we'll. I don't think we're going to see Al mm. ever again. I'm. I'm open to the idea of it being valid that she shows up in the summit series but it's the same thing i say about morgan though i mean it, i think it would be kind of cool because you could do a lot of cool things with al and morgan but mostly al actually because it fits my theory and i like being right david is adorably animated thank you david <laughs> i'm scared for mo He's very good at hiding the robot <laughs> mm -hmm. why are you leaving your own message these messages for yourself under, under Carranza? <laughs> <laughs> no see because david carranza is the time jump version of me no, you're the time jump version of him. <laughs> I'm the original. I came first. I was born in 1979. Okay. Dave, is, Dave is the Tobias. <laughs> shut, you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crystal says, I'm scared for Mo, Mo Collins, but I am excited to see her at the camp. Yeah, the camp. Yeah, camp is loaded with fear stars. Karen David, Mo Collins, Colby, is there? Colby, Mini Colby, Colby Minifee, Minifee. Who's, who's still who's still in the boys. Yeah. Brian says, I think we'll see so, we'll at some point see Al again. And Lois says, I'll be there because Morgan is always looking for her. Oh, Al, Al will be there. Uh, I think. Is that a speech to text issue? Yeah, text to speech. <laughs> Not your friend, Lois. So it looks like Madison's on a little one of those tugboat houseboats. <laughs> what are you doing, Bridget? What's up? Is it the owl will always be there because? <laughs> See, Lois, what Bridget means to say is, why, why weren't you there on Saturday? Was she there on Saturday? She was. She offered to put her email in the chat. Yeah. I... <laughs> Again, <laughs> but she said she was just kidding. I saw that part in the video. Oh, oh my gosh! In my head, all of a sudden, I started singing. I'll be there. <laughs> no, and I'll be there. No, <laughs> Wait, Wait, Bridget, we're gonna get a copyright me, strike. Call me Al. Call me Al. <laughs> Call me owl. Yeah. Can, can you imagine us oh, getting getting dinged for that? And like, I'd be like, "Did you watch the clip? Because that is not a, <laughs> it's not even a faithful rendition." <laughs> An owl be there. Oh, uh, oh don't you goodness. know, baby it mo? Oh, oh, okay. No, I'll be there for you. I'll be there <laughs> to show. <laughs> anyway, all right, Madison. <laughs> Madison's beating that drum. I don't know. There's nothing really much. She's trying what to get somebody's hell? attention. Oh my gosh, she's so stupid. Who, Die already. Who is oh, this? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You go. Oh, it's Jerry. Is that the Jerry? Jerry and Whoa. Dwight. What do we do? All right, who is that? That is that Jerry. oh it's Christian Serratus. Is it? I see I see squares. It is really not <laughs> I see squares too. It's, to I'm... be fair, it's through Dave's robot filter, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's Sherry. It looks like Sherry. The it doesn't hair, look like though. her, but hey, you never know. Like if you sit here for a second, sit here for a second, and then it'll clear up. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> In yeah, that okay. frame, it looks like Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way that shirt is coming off. That, the way she's wearing that shirt, that is Sherry. Excuse me? Your shirt's coming off. <laughs> no, the way the, the way the shirt, the way she's wearing it. Whoa, whoa, do you see this? Look, Dwight is falling from a height. Oh, no. No. I don't no. Like this. no. 
We're not, not doing this again. Tower? We're not doing this again. Is We're not doing this again. Tower? I mean, we are doing this. I wasn't there. Didn't, didn't <laughs> wait, wait. Is he falling? All I can see is his face. Wait, so here, here let's go frame by frame, and he's falling. Or, I still only see his face. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like can we, so can he's we falling on? on Sherry, though. Can, so Can we move on? Because David Kronz said we're never getting through this trailer, and based on how <laughs> <laughs> we feel like that's so You came here for the pain, folks, and now we have 11 <laughs> people on here, so... <laughs> <laughs> to work tomorrow. Me too. I have to go to sleep at some point. Okay. Well, Brian asks an important question: How many of our group will, will survive the season if we're if we're guessing? <sighs> I don't like this question. I just three. I, yeah. Honestly, if I'm being Everybody serious, Everybody but Morgan. All of them. I, no, I, think I think the opposite. All actually, all of them will survive. I think Morgan I think and all of them. I have a feeling Morgan and Madison will die. Yeah, I said everybody will. Morgan. Everybody will live except Morgan and Madison. Oh, okay. I have theories about oh. Sherry, but I'm not willing to discuss. Like, I just I don't feel like because I'm basing this off of things that don't there aren't canon, and I it's just stupid. Uh, <laughs> it is. I, it's, oh, go. Oh, let's base it on things that she said in <laughs> interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Just call my name. <laughs> yes. And I will be there. Eric, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh well crystal says i think we're gonna lose those two for oh sure gosh. mo but i don't know who else will die maybe charlie oh well definitely charlie charlie's already <laughs> dead i think yeah you guys charlie's you guys never getting through really the trailer dead. facts Carranza says brian i actually think that's a good amount of people that will survive i'm thinking we might lose a good number looks like he's getting a rosita moment oh that's why we're not talking about mm -hmm. it brian. we're not talking about i'm it. sitting here eating a yeah. cold winnie <laughs> weenie you mean i think about know. al <laughs> I can't. I can never tell if Lois is fucking with me or not. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh, and Eric says, uh, uh, "Dwight looks like he's falling from Nakatomi Plaza onto Sherry." If you look at the screen grab, she's right there. Oh my God, she's Dave, right there. Don't do it. Don't do it. She's right there. Sherry. Sherry is Hans Gruber. <laughs> so wait. So no, Dwight would be Dwight Hans Gruber, is Hans Gruber falling me. on Bruce Willis. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm Dom, I'm McLean, um, whatever they are. Sherry's Bruce Willis. No, and the yeah. police, and the, oh my gosh. No, I'm waiting for Rachel. What? what? Carl, I'm Carl. He's oh, the, on. Car, the Carl what, Winslow what? character. Yes. He's falling. Carl. 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 Welcome to the his, party, pal. His, his name is Reginald Bell Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Ren Reginald Bell Johnson. Thank you. Oh, Carl look at Winslow. that. He's Carl Winslow. You see this? Okay, so Morgan and June. June takes out some that, goons. I don't think that's June. I think <laughs> that's Madison. You think it's Madison? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a stunt. It's a stunt person. Because it's his fair. Their hair in the face. So it's, neither. it's so nice so to it's showcase neither. them during the trailer. And Morgan just runs away. He's like, you you can take care of these You're people. <laughs> You got to you got to face it. If, if that's the case, it probably is June because he'd just be like, bye, bitch. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we got some swamps. We're, we're driving through. Great oh. shot. That is a beautiful shot, though, for real. Like, that's, well, that's what I say about like Fear the Walking Dead. Their episodes are good. They're filmed really well. Just the arcs that we all have an issue okay, with. Okay. So, do you think that's Strand? Oh, is that Strand? Do you think that's Strand? That's Strand. Where? That's very, oh, in the, on the, the right? With the hat. With the, with the hat. Oh, a little bit. Oh. That's how you're mentioning with the tight hat. Like High and tight hat in the background. <laughs> looks like Strand, yeah. uh, the it, it doesn't have to be Strand, right? It looks like him though. Go back just a He's little bit. He's got new hair this season. Play it, like play it. Let it let it play. <laughs> Yeah, but it goes play. by so fast. Oh, oh I see does. what you're saying. I, see. I think that I think that, that could be like a strand. flashback of Strand, or maybe his hair is different after the time Why jump. Does it have to be I don't think that's Strand though. because his hair is different in the season. But it it's it's after the time jump. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep going. So this could be pre time jump. Well, who's this? It, that there's... shit looked like a, a freaking World War II battlefield or something that framed right? just before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With... Maybe he's maybe it's a dream. Might not even be real. Could be a dream sequence. And I just say I'm so thankful. There's crm haircut that um <laughs> i am so thankful about the color palette like just thank god it's more green i was so yeah. tired of the yellow at least it's not yellow the yellow <laughs> in, so thankful. in the yellow and green because everything was strand was green yeah but not like not like nature not like, green. No, it was, it was like, like pukey green. green. it was like, like radiation green. Green. green yeah 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 and we'll get That'll to that be. that looks like daniel and uh our haircut are facing off is yeah. that a okay now the question is is that a walker and it oh right that skin tone definitely no looks i don't i don't dead, i don't it? go back a little bit because it shows it from oh and he's ducking okay <laughs> yeah i see okay oh well, maybe he's like is pushing, he a variant pushing that person down oh maybe he is oh i doubt it that had some romero skin tone for sure that wasn't <laughs> even like walking dead it was, that was old school <laughs> 
That was like blue. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> like, like Danny has a friend. Like the Dawn of the Dead, nineteen seventy nine or whatever <laughs> version, <laughs> where they're all blue, with <laughs> blue walkers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the uh, here's the thing that Charity reacted to. Yippee ki yay! Brian says, <laughs> <laughs> "Looks like badass Daniel is back." Okay, Brian says again. I can't wait to see Daniel kill everybody. Takira says, "I bet this battle brings back muscle memory of his previous life," and that's mm. kind of what I was saying before, Brian. Okay, yeah, all that's right. true. I want to mention a comment that was in here earlier. Emily, the artist Emily, ha- was in the chat very briefly, and it said that she loves the cinematography of the swamp. And mm-hmm. I just want to say yes to all of that. <laughs> I'm just, I cannot express how thankful I am that we're out of a nuclear wasteland for the love of God. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, that's interesting. Paralleling these two kills, whatever this is, we don't know what this is. I am so pumped for a badass June. I hope she fucking breaks bad. I hope she's mean as shit. Okay, so Morgan has this, which is just like a spear. A spear. Yeah. But Haircut had his weapon in a previous clip. So I'm wondering if it gets taken from him. Yeah, I mean, I would have yeah. to assume. Well, she probably like yells at him and then he just hands it over. I'm sure that's how it goes. <laughs> Who did Grace yell at him? <laughs> Give up the sword! <laughs> up the- okay, okay. Here's my bow axe thing. <laughs> now, Grace is Grace is getting some action in here too. Look at this. Taking out some walkers with a handgun with a pistol. Boom. Or it could be a whisper. Because <laughs> it looks like a, it has like a sack on its head. I don't know. No? <laughs> Okay, so I can't say the cure. I can't say sack. I can't say what else can I say? (laughs) Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer anymore. Sledgehammer. (laughs) Someone make that video edit, please. Of course, Morgan's on a walkie. What if they bring Troy back just to let Madison whack him in the head with a hammer again? This is who you were referring to. This This is the influencer you were talking about before. Yes, that must be it. Yeah, Yeah. hard to tell. Honestly, like I said, she's so like made up. I'm just saying, there's no way that there's just no way that Mo is supposed to be nine. This could be a nine. I can see a nine now. From this frame, I can see it. I couldn't see it before though. Mm. And look at this fort behind them too. This little walkway fort and atriumish area, whatever. There's a windmill back here. Too. Yeah, I was gonna say they got this, uh, garden. Yeah, Pretty windmill and gardening. Garden. A flag. I wonder what that flag is. What's says. on her hip? She's fully dressed like a prisoner, too. On her hip, it looks like a um picks that out part. bladder. Like a water thing water thing. Earlier they show a bunch of of kids dressed in yellow and orange jumpsuits. So I think that's the padre mm-hmm. outfit. Yeah. Kid. Kid. Yeah. Okay. Kids in training. Okay. The eggs. For Maybe the eggs. felons. <laughs> for the yes. eggs. Brian says, agreed on the swamp. Brian says, David Caron's laughing. Brian says, could we see one of our groups sacrifice themselves in a hero moment? Obviously, it's the show. Uh similar to what T Dog with Carol, but to save our group. I mean, it's anyone's game. What do you guys think of that? I think if anybody did, it would be Strand. I was thinking the same thing. Yep. Strand. Wow. I, Can you imagine I, our I, earlier selves? I would, you don't think us Madison would do it again? She's already done it once, supposedly. That would be too perfect. And I would really, really need to see her actually die this time. I think the great thing about getting this far into the show is that I don't know what to expect as far as these characters go, because everybody's been 17 million somebodies, yep. including Strand. I was just thinking about Strand. Oh, Morgan, you're not the only one who's been 13 different different somebodies or 16 different somebodies. I could see Strand doing a hero moment, but the only person I could see him sacrificing himself for is Leisha and she's not around anymore. So I'm not sure who, who think he would sacrifice himself for. for Madison. I think more for Mo, baby Mo. Maybe. You know? What? Yeah. No. Well, what was all this for? Give a shit about her. Madison. I don't know. There's your haircut again with an, with that guy that was probably behind oh, her earlier. Is that the, that's not haircut. Is that the blue face? That's, that's, is that the, that's, that's haircut. The blue face? That's not haircut. That's, that's not haircut. haircut. That's no, haircut. No, that's it not is not haircut. haircut. Uh-uh. That is haircut. No, that's not the same person. It is the same person. It's not. Well, then why is their hair different? The hair, <laughs> this, it looks like their head is shaved right their there. Their head is... <laughs> It's the it hair. It's like- it's the actor. It's haircut. It's definitely haircut. It is- oh my god! See, we're going the wrong direction. Not haircut. Stop! Stop going back. Never mind. I'll never question you again. Please just go. <laughs> You're right about everything. <laughs> everything. We agree with everything, everything you oh said. Okay, look at her face here in this shot. Okay. Memorize it. Okay, so her head shaved. Okay. It, it's just squares. No, it's just, it's just squares. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Maybe that's... It's just matted down. Three later. Haircut. Yeah, we don't know what it Early is. Early but... haircut. But yeah, it's the same person. Young haircut. <laughs> like shaved. Like maybe she... Maybe Young they, like, haircut. Sounds like a her. rapper name. Maybe she got a better haircut. <laughs> or this is her before her the bad haircut. 
<laughs> young hair, young haircut, and it's spelled it's spelled Y U. I'm DJ. I'm DJ Young Haircut. Young haircut. <laughs> yep. Listen to my tunes. To I once had <laughs> big hair, and now I got little hair. <laughs> I got the cure I wish and a sack on my a, head. I wish my hair was a little taller. I wish it was a taller. <laughs> like my bad longer. hair longer. I wish it grew in strands. <laughs> like a All right, here we have Daniel and Madison back to back at it again. I do love this. <sighs> I'm not mad about it. Oh, I am. I'm going to be mad every time I see it. Right, this is what you're referring to earlier with yeah, Dwight, Dwight sharing and their kid. Their kid. Who is, his, feels kid, significantly his, his kid would have to be six. Yeah, well, I, I could buy that. Sure. It's like the tallest six-year-old I've ever seen. <laughs> I know kids grow at different rates. But yeah. this, I mean, Silas, okay, well, if the, if I'm Sherry, Silas is that tall next to me, and he's 13. Well, see, Sherry, see, Christine oh. Evangelista isn't wearing her heels here, so it's like, and the perspective, so? the perspective. I don't ever wear heels. No, but my, 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 I'm saying that she's shorter without heels. And look at, look at Dwight, he's like a, he's like a, a giant. <laughs> <laughs> also, okay. look at the perspective of the shot too. It's from a lower stance too. So, really, Brian? Well, oh, say what? Say what he well, said. He also said his son was the tallest yeah. in his class. <laughs> so, yeah. Some kids, yeah. Brian says some kids are bigger kid. than others. Oh. My son is way bigger than his classmates. I've seen some tall kids, but he said Brian says his son is six and comes up to his chest. No. Oh. So I mean, I guess just, if, uh, if Dwight were standing up, and are you by chance standing. five feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian's definitely taller than me. Wait. <laughs> Emily says, if Saran makes it this far to die this season, I'll be so sad. And I think I'm going to be sad regardless, depending on how things go. I'll be sad one way or the other. David, I love you, but she looks at least 14. Well, whatever. He's in the top, he's, he's in the top 90 percentile. Five. He's 5'8". Five Holy smackerels. Wow, he's taller than me. I think uh, Brian's 5'8". Five five eight. Eight. Oh, he's 5'8". Five eight. If your kid's 5'8", <laughs> five five well, you know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, there's bad haircut again. Yeah. But this is this is the girl that you were talking about before, the influencer person. The influencer. Brian's son is almost as tall as I am. Yeah. If he's five eight and his kid comes up to his chest. Just like I'm almost yeah. tall as tall as yeah, you are. Yeah, Brian's kid is yeah. almost as tall as I am too. Yep. So yeah, that I'm, checks out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nice to boo. see these two actually have a sort of moment. Yeah, in moment, you in, guys. In, without Mo, <laughs> you're like when your parents kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Mo! Well, I'm totally down with it, uh, anybody Dwight else. Yes, here's Dwight and Sherry. I'm good with them. What, what, what is happening? happening? Isn't it weird that I'm like ah oh, for Grace, but then I'm like ugh Morgan. <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> anyway, this is Dwight and Sherry. What is that? Oh, Dwight and Sherry. Dwight and Sherry. Oh, on top of a train car. On the okay. train. Is it a train car? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess it is. All right. Like, it's the dinner cot. This is baby Mo, and it's in a bright light. She's mm -hmm. getting ready to be abducted <laughs> by. That's what it looks like. Plot twist. Right? The egg is Plot running. twist. Aliens. <laughs> oh, what an what... M Night Shyamalan <laughs> move. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what you were talking about before, but look, yeah. it looks. Yeah, I see what this, you're saying. This is the weirdest thing what I've the? ever seen. So I like. This, I still don't know what this is. Is this the one? The one where you're talking about this? Is this might be Dwight and Sherry's kid? That's what I said. I was like, that clearly isn't Baby Mo. So it's somebody else's kid. And then I was talking yeah, about how that zombie. <laughs> I keep saying zombie. I'm sorry. That Walker head <laughs> is like suction cupped up there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about suction cup, but uh doesn't look very happy to be there. They're never happy. What is very but like? What is the point of happy. this? And what's going on behind it? There's a dude standing there with a bag over his head. So it's like it's those like are a the head. That's wraps. the headdresses from Padre. Mm -hmm. They have like a head wrap, and then their face is covered, and then they're wearing right. sports equipment because they all have it's cancer. Very, <laughs> it's very kingdomy looking. Their sort armor, of, and he's sort just of. like standing there. Yeah, he's well. They turn away as the kid gets eaten from with the uh, whatever, whatever you call it. Now, this is the part where I thought, okay, maybe this might be like the hallucinogenic brains, but it looks like a finger. Well, and some heads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we was got... governor vibes for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. This definitely looks directly like the governor. I governor's... wonder if the fingers are trigger fingers. <laughs> People, they're, they're enemies and they like take their trigger fingers so they can't shoot them anymore. I, I thought there was a the cheesy fingers. joke there, but you That's... Were... <laughs> yeah, it was serious. They used to do that when they would punish archers. They would take mm -hmm. one of their fingers so they couldn't draw the bows anymore. Mm. Those are the fingers that John Dory shot off his victims <laughs> and they went around and collected them. Poor oh John. Goodness. That's how we remember him. Anyway. <laughs> it's a good shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, looks like baby Mo's in a little trouble again. Don't run. Don't run, baby Mo. Just Don't just die. <laughs> Ugh, this girl is going to be a real grace. I can feel it. <laughs> Wait, what is that supposed to mean? What do you think it means? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> let's not play that game. <laughs> you just can't say shit. <laughs> just... All right, we got the rifle here that was mentioned earlier, maybe. Oh, okay, some writing on the wall. I didn't mean fear grace either. I meant uh, grace. That makes it even more confusing. I meant grace. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, we got some of that clear imagery. Oh, you mean like a kid that can't fight and is going to get eaten and, and is, relies, and on, just, and just oh, relies on other nine-year-olds to save her? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, Gracie. This does look like Alexandria a little bit, too, but then again... It it's the Georgia house because if you see the... Um, the trellis here or whatever. The, the trellis is up at the top, the little corner thing he's up there that is that's morgan's house from the pilot mm. oh that's rick's rifle he's got in his hand and this looks like imagery that we saw at the museum of the moving image right remember the hands are we gonna see a flash oh yeah in the remember? hallway mm -hmm. as you're leaving that, the last oh, yeah the cool. last hallway this looks like that iconic walker from do you remember like the guy in the suit yes that he's called i got into an argument with someone on reddit about this yes but like but like obviously over time and people call him purple suit walker but he was known as the tank walker to Funko because that's what they named him on everything and this guy on Reddit got really mad at me. Anyway. <laughs> when do they not? <laughs> Brian just said that he thinks he said I'm gonna say something controversial that I've said before but Dwayne Jones lives Morgan was crazy and clear and never seen a body I think Dwayne is gonna be there but I think he's gonna be dead and that's why Morgan burns the fucking house down yeah cause like okay that'll wrap that argument up <laughs> Dwayne is dead. Mm -hmm. Could also be a flashback. You know, if Brian t ends up being right about this, like like he was about Madison coming back, I don't know. We have to do a, a challenge, Dwayne Jones challenge, where D Dave chugs a bottle of Dwayne Jones whiskey on the show, also dies of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Great gimmick. <laughs> it's like the Suicide Woods all over again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those don't know. you mention that you don't you mention there. that we're not getting cancelled no 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 you can't get cancelled if you don't have an audience <laughs> June has a very scared worried look there yeah. yeah yeah concerned like she sees someone she sees John Dory she knows uh, like I said they said there was going to be a lot of dealing with ghosts and past traumas so all, all I gotta do is put Tom Thomas O'Mara with John Dory's hat I'd be totally down with Garrett making a surprise visit. You never know. Maybe maybe all his talk about like, oh, I don't want to talk about fear. Maybe that was like a smokescreen, Garrett Dillahunt. <laughs> and then he's going to be on the show like, I ah, gotcha, suckers. I filmed, I filmed this two years ago waiting for this, <laughs> this season to come out. <laughs> Emily says that could be the baby from the last episode, the last episode of last season. Uh, wait, 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 let me see here. I'll draw a ball with my toes. Lois says, I'm going to say something controversial. Okay. They aren't gone until they're gone, Brian. Damn it. Not you too, Takira. I mean, all the references <laughs> to him. Oh, nice cover up, Brian. Do we see Alicia and what episode will it be? Alicia's I don't, not I don't, coming back. I don't think we see Alicia ever again. see Alicia. Yeah. I think that they like the nebulous exit. I, I do too. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Emily, in the comics, doesn't Morgan cut Dwayne's chain and leave him there reanimated? Oh, who knows the comics? I believe that. Yes, I believe that. Which means he's dead by default. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, she is not happy, Sherry. Something something bad is happening. I think she's screaming her kid's name if anybody can make out what she's saying there. Oh, I should put in captions. I, I don't know what she's saying. Well, either way, I mean, this this tells me more than anything else that like, I feel like we're getting some big cast deaths by the end of this this season. This is not like you don't yell like this if this is if this isn't a big cast death. And look at look at Austin and Emilio's, Emilio's face. Unless they have their kid. Right? Yeah. yeah, that would invoke a try. Like you have my kid. Let them go reaction. It looks like Mo is fighting the influencer. We're just calling her the influencer. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> A haircut? Yeah. No, no, no the influencer. Well, I the looked up one of the new cast members and all I could find oh. was that this girl is 18 and that she was an influencer, like a pretty successful oh. influencer, and now she's on the show. Oh. Yeah. Why'd you go back, Dave? <laughs> There's <laughs> we didn't disagree with you. We're right here. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like Madison There's is not happy. Madison knocking some more shit down with her hammer. That's everything. She, every time you see her, she's fucking banging on something. Or she's got maybe some she's aggression issues she needs to work out. I'm, I'm down with that. I like wrecking shit i'm very metal like that okay so here we go i got some fencers <laughs> so i think that's like to keep them from biting right yeah they got that yeah. seaweed shit stuck in their mouth that but, is the walker i'm in love with that's the that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's the advanced the military military training walker the one like i kept saying i'm in love i'm in love with this walker and then i was like that's not what i mean it's not what i mean <laughs> we don't believe you bridget <laughs> we don't believe you I don't mean romantic love. <laughs> You're just making it worse. Why are you even qualifying? It's just like, I don't mean it. Seriously. No, now we know you mean it. 
Who do you think this is? This looks like I would say this is Baby Mo, but I, I, think, I think it's Mo. I was going to say it might, Mo. I might be Austin's kid though, or uh, sorry, Austin's. Do I, I think it's Baby Mo because that's the same outfit she we saw her in standing, and when she was being abducted by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> this last season really jumped the <laughs> oh here we go morgan c and red here we go so <laughs> that's baby mo being taken by padre people yikes wow that is not oh madison knocking some skulls see again with the but this isn't camera. in the sh- this isn't in the show this is like an effect it's gotta be right uh-huh. in the comics okay uh yeah they brought back morales oh okay i see what you're saying they brought back morales but eh, morales wasn't confirmed dead Dwayne is dead Dwayne is dead dead <laughs> we didn't see a body thank god okay so here we go back home in king county basically right yep he died see he said he died no but morgan was crazy this is your second chance dad oh i like that wow this is crazy man taking it all the way back she's right morgan i wonder so so if they're going from louisiana to georgia that means they're going to go through mississippi so i wonder if they're going to go to the truck stop like the wizard of oz style <laughs> like from, that, would, from be fun. that would be so fun if they went through the if they went through the truck stop oh, the flip-flop truck isn't it flip-flop the, Missis- truck? the flip-flop truck stop yeah the remember that mud pies <laughs> in mississippi we got the rifle here that he didn't kill jenny with until later okay here we go he gave you this gun for a reason Okay, we're going to talk about this. He's going to have to put Grace down, I bet you. Like, she's going to get bit, and he's going to have to put her down like he couldn't do with his wife. I don't know what I, to make of this. I don't like that. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. I don't but like I'm, that. But I'm not going to lie. I, there's, I've had ideas like this since Grace came on the show and knew that she'd be a love interest and knew that at some point he'd have to choose between her and the Sophie's Choice sort of situation. What if he has to choose between her and Bo? Oh, boy. That's a, that's a worse choice. I'm like this time he redeems himself. So then at some point, probably except for this, most of this is from episodes one and two. But if we if we get this far in, I'm wondering if they don't wrap up this Padre shit in six episodes and then we get something totally, totally crazy. <laughs> Maybe he still has to qu- kill Dwayne. I'm maybe Lois. Is that what you're laughing at? ADHD. I, re- <laughs> I, re- I read that as Dewani. <laughs> oh, this girl needs bed. Oh, I really do, you guys. All right. I love you, but I have to go. I gotta go. Oh, that's it. Dave really, just ignores you. So I well, that's that's. I had, I, I had a feeling. It's like fuck you. I'm gonna play. I had, I had a feeling that was it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I won't acknowledge no, it. Then you can't leave. Here. I'm gonna say good night. All right. Because I I I had to be to sleep five minutes ago. So. Oh right, right, right. Love you, I love you guys. Good night, Rachel. I couldn't be out there. Thanks for making it. Love you. Yeah, I was here for a minute. Love you guys. You. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Bye Lois. You. Bye, Brian. Takira. Emily. Love you guys. Yeah. Thanks for making it. Bye. Bye. So, folks, what do you think is going on here? Because my initial gut reaction was... I just couldn't believe that they made it back to King County. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to trust this this scene. Look, Morgan ran from Virginia to Texas. <laughs> so I think they can Straight. walk from Louisiana to Georgia. Like, that's not even across the mountain. Morgan had to run across the mountains to get fucking Texas. He just ran right on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> Lois says, maybe he has to kill Dwayne. Crystal says, no, not Grace. Don't let her die. He is probably going to kill whoever Padre is no yeah i'd like to hear more about what you guys think i mean if, if it is his house what are they out there to do who are, who are they out to, there to see are they backtracking to see rick but that can't see this is why i don't think so is because he knows rick's in virginia so why are they why are they back where it all started aiden and i when we talked about this we talked about the fact that maybe they're just traveling through georgia on the way to virginia that doesn't seem like a direct route though it's not but you wouldn't have to go over the mountains that way mm-hmm. in 503 when dwight and morgan met up in Humbug's Gulch, he was like, I went down to 40 and took 20 across, which is down in Georgia. Mm-hmm. So instead of going across the mountains, Dwight went south and then came across. Because Mississippi, if you go east from Mississippi, you're going to hit Florida. Mm-hmm. And then or, and then you can just go up, you know, to Georgia from there. Well, and we've, we can't forget the trench that the CRM dug. <laughs> But that the was dead, 20 that was that was 30 was 20 years later but they like, had to start from now they didn't dig a trench they drained the mississippi <laughs> that would be easier wouldn't it it would <laughs> and it would be fertile too I, oh, that's interesting okay emily says knowing fear they're baiting us and it's all dream hallucinations that's what i was saying yeah unfortunately I think, uh, padre stands for protocols actions drugs 
<laughs> rehabilitation. Directives. Protocols, actions, directives for reintegrating the enemy. Woo. Solved it. Gotcha. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about Can that. Can I because... go to bed now? No. <laughs> Brian says, if they're back in the familiar area, I have to assume they will see some kind of familiar face. Maybe. Takira says, he could have just needed to make that stop for emotional reasons. I would believe that over anything else, honestly. The retread ground to be a complete self. Maybe to be a Morgan that we can handle. That my co-hosts can handle. Okay, Crystal says, yeah, I agree, Brian. Trying to figure out who it is, though. What happened to Wendell? What happened to Wendell? Did we see Wendell's body? No, we did not. I mean, there's other kids, too. Like, this is like, we were, you were saying this during the trailer too like oh where are the kids where's where's annie max and dylan Ooh. well i had said we're not gonna see them right. <laughs> i was like we're not it's gonna just, see them just, unless unless they're these inmates down here <laughs> what happened to the what happened to this to the saviors in the, in the six-year time jump we don't know can't wait to see dead city walking dead eternal says 100 even though we're not talking about that now i get it i want to see listen i'm it's my city i would love to see dead city but dead new york new york, new dead city i did get a i did get a sick new dead city sticker in the supply drop box so Mm. Oh, that yellowish with the black background, I think it was. Like orange. Pretty orange, cool. okay. Brian says maybe they went back to his apartment to see if any guns were left or any weapons or ammo. Well, that's, that's a fair one, too. Not sure if Rick took it all. Lois? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, David laughs and Lois says, Al took them with her. Al. <laughs> Al Sevchek. Lois, are you messing with me? <laughs> Al, sweet chick pierogies. Lois, are you coming to the camp? I need to know. <laughs> we need this. She has, she's I coming need to, to the be camp. prepared. <laughs> Even if she's not going to the camp, she's going <laughs> to the camp. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lois is a gem. Sweet, <laughs> sweet talking, joke cracking, fart knocking <laughs> gem. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'll be there. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Damn it! Another copyright strike. We're that good. <laughs> <laughs> Three strikes and you're out. Squawking dead. Against owl odds. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're going to see Adele instead of the camp? Oh, no. Wow. So y'all not be there. Owl will not be there. <laughs> owl will not be there. The part of Owl will be played by <laughs> Isabel. Isabel. Any, any final thoughts on this trailer specifically or maybe thoughts on maybe how the season's going to go because I me personally I'm I when it comes to this final seasons it's, it's really anybody's game I am super pumped and after 7b I didn't know if I would ever be excited for the show again mm. because 7b was Rough. horrible it was horrible yeah, it's bad after seeing fucking badass savage looking June I am like 100% 1000% back in this <laughs> I'm excited again I'm excited again I get it yeah it's tricky because we we know that sometimes with these trailers they're a bit deceptive and sometimes the things that we want to see all of it ends up being in the trail and the rest of it's all boring so you never know what you're gonna get yeah. i love that walking dead eternal says it was cool getting a mention of a mention of rick i think that was mm -hmm. pretty cool <laughs> I watched AJ's AJ's reaction trailer, right, reaction to the trailer, okay. and he literally screamed when they switched Rick. He was like, Rick! But it was like in this high pitch. <laughs> like he broke character. Yeah, was, uh, like real AJ came through in that one. That so Did he like wait and, and to watch it for the first time recording yeah, it? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. It was I, so I, funny. This is on his YouTube channel? How did I miss yes, it? Yes. I subscribed to his YouTube channel. Oh, I'll check it out. I'll say Brian's comment. Final episode. Do we see our TWD characters? Do they find each other i'm not holding out hope that we see any twd characters and i i don't i don't think that's gonna happen i'd be okay with it of course i think if we do it is gonna be morgan and rick meeting up because that mm. would just be poetic full circle yeah yeah and again they said full circle is the theme of the season so maybe it will happen mm. seems like we'll get more of a retrospective or like more of a full circle moment here than we would on the walking dead in a sense <laughs> i like what emily says fear the walking dead does not have the budget for a main twd cast yeah. but then again AMC doesn't either. I have two things to say about this trailer. Mm. And I've reiterated the first one like a bajillion times because I just cannot say how thankful I am for a different color palette. I just, it was killing me. And I'm just so thankful that it's a different color than acid series. Yellow. Yeah. Seriously. And then <laughs> Agent Orange. God, it was horrible. And then the other thing is, is that I haven't seen people get so pumped for fear in so long. Seeing people being like, oh, dude, I don't even watch fear. And this trailer made me want to watch fear again was such a uplifting moment after losing the flagship show and then we're getting these spinoffs but now there's rumors that these spinoffs aren't going to last very long and so knowing that people could maybe be like re 
reinvigorated for this property, it made me really happy and really hopeful because like I've stated before, I don't know where we're going to go as a podcast. Right. So knowing that maybe this could go on a little bit longer where we're talking about this kind of stuff, the stuff that we're here for. I mean, it's not like we won't cover other shows because of course we are. We already do. But just knowing that we will be around for my favorite show of all times, like universe. Right. Just, I don't know. It gives no, me I th- hope. I know what you're saying. In fact, I'll take that even a step, a concrete step further. I Considering they're saying full circle and the end is the beginning, I, I do think that they may make a spinoff from these characters that are left over. A Fear the Walking Dead spinoff. Not just uh, Dead in the Water. <laughs> Something else. So I can I, mean, I, can I like Dead in the Water. I'm not opposed to like but that was a miniseries. Content like that, but or like yeah. it, actually it was technically, I mean, they broke it up into to different parts, but I think it was it like it might a, as well have been a web series. A full honestly. episode. I am manifesting a Carol June spinoff right now. That would be super interesting. It would tide people over. I just it's just how that all comes together is 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 gonna make or break my my suspension mm. of disbelief, right? Because it's like we want it to happen, but how does that happen? In season four, Morgan was gonna go back to Virginia and take everybody with him, remember? Right. And then they ended up getting side tracked and they didn't go because people in Texas needed help. See how well that worked out for them. But why Why should it be any different now? Why couldn't they go back now? True. I think what really sucks is that he really, really wanted to do this mostly, not mostly, but like with Alicia in mind, not having her there. Kinda, I don't know, it doesn't take take away from that so much. It takes away a little bit from that. But he doesn't need Alicia now. He's got a fucking kid. True, true, true. He has a kid to worry about. Alicia's not even... <laughs> This is why I don't like talking about like the trailers for like a final season because it's like, okay, when you don't know when the end is happening, you can think of a lot of plausible plot lines to keep the story moving. But like when you see that there's an end and then they have to wrap all this shit up and in so few episodes, I don't know, it's hard to really visualize what they might do with the season, especially if they're going to have a full circle moment and then maybe launch something else based on this. Because I feel like with all the talk and all the hype from, let's say, Satrazemus and, and beyond, yeah, like having a, a spinoff series as at the end of this, I think it's planned so it's hard to really mm-hmm. tell where this is going to go all of this to say that in the process of wrapping things up they have to give us enough staging to make that spin-off a reality so they have to give us enough meat for that s- story to be launched from well if they're doing a time jump and they're catching up to walking dead time there's a number of spin-off possibilities because they could go to rick and michonne they could go to wherever fucking daryl is they could oh, go God. to dead city they could have an- another where they bring walking somebody because f- you know melissa mcbride said she doesn't necessarily done with the walking dead she just didn't want to go to fucking europe yes so maybe she she picks up and they do a spinoff with a fear character and carol i mean there are literally by not killing off a shitload of people at the end of the walking dead they literally left open spinoff possibilities for everybody right and i like to think of it this way so when you're in high school college whatever right you're like so ready to get done at the end of it i think of my college experience when i was finally graduating i was like so ready to be done i was working like two jobs i was in school full time i got done with college i didn't know what to do with myself i wanted to go back to take more classes because i felt like i was like missing something and so i think of that when i think of how they're leaving these jobs that they've been in for so many years and leaving the people that they've been have become like family to them they're leaving and they're not going to see each other as often and i think at the beginning you're like yeah this is great i can see my actual family and I get this time away and I I needed a break and it was so much. And then I think after a couple months, you kind of start sitting with it and feeling like, Mm, I really miss that. I miss Mm. that. I feel like I'm ready to go back. I'm ready to go back. So I feel especially with Melissa McBride, just with her being open to continuing, I hope to see that in the nearish future. This makes me think of how well Lenny James and Melissa McBride worked on The Walking Dead and how alternatively to me thinking that Morgan might bite it at the end of the series. If, if, if it were to go on, I would like to see those two again. Their characters have very tight similarities. They played very, very well with each other. They're, they were kind of mirrors with one another. You've got Josh McDermott, Margot Bingham, Michael James Shaw. All of them could spin off into something else, mm. especially if they're bringing everything up to roughly the same time period. Mm-hmm. So right now, The Walking Dead is a couple of years past the world beyond. And if they bring Fear the Walking Dead up to that time too, then we could feasibly see, see the Walking, walking Dead, world, dead beyond world Beyond on people in the future state. Mm. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like if you're creating a property in Hollywood and you're having big visions of how it's going to be successful, I think you end up taking that model of the Star Wars universe, Marvel. Disney has excelled at it, how I feel about them either way, but creating these these massive universes that just continue, right? right? Like that would be the 
model you'd be looking for. Right, and how do exactly. you do that? You create new content and maybe your content is app specific, which some people have some really big feelings about, but right, that's like how you MC continue that. Stuff. Yeah, I'm down with that. That's kind of like why I said they decided season eight was the last season. I can't see a world in which they aren't already ready for that to be a possibility. The possibility of them launching into other spinoffs and stuff like that. You know, but it's just like Tales. Oh, Tales, it's it's all about, oh, we're going to see Walking Dead origin stories. Like, we got that a little bit with Alpha, a little bit more. And she was, ironically enough, out of all the characters in the Walking Dead universe, she has had the most flashbacks. Not pre-apocalypse, but she has the most flashbacks in the universe, I feel like. And so that's kind of like the cruel, funny joke. So will they do more with our existing Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead characters? Who knows? But at, since we're talking about fear, I could I could see a world in which they spin off more. Will they reach talking wa Walking Dead characters? I don't know. I'm not ready to go there, but I would like that. Brian says, I'm believing that we'll see Alicia again. I'm hoping to. And Takir says, I'm hoping. Walking Dead Eternal says, what I want to see is what is that Connie appearing in Daryl's show. That'll be awesome. I thought that that might happen, but uh, I mean, if he's getting abducted to France, it's, like a it's not really likely. really big coincidence. <laughs> I, don't, asking, I just can't. You're asking can't a lot of Connie that. right now. <laughs> I can't pursue that. That's a lot. She don't like him that much. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding because I'm a con. I'm a Donnie shipper too. Or whatever. It has to work with the story. I'm more worried about is Dog going to show up over there with him? I don't care about Connie. I want to know what's going to happen to Dog if Daryl needs. <laughs> Brian says some of the characters could jump to the current spinoffs coming. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah, I'm down. So this is why I like not knowing because I want to be surprised and they better not be spoiling surprises. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Crystal says we didn't see Alicia die. Technically, that's true, too, which is cool because it's open ended. Emily says, yeah, it's more Connie. Five guess about Connie, Takira says. Lois says they all need they all need a job. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need a job. True. <laughs> Okay, Brian says Josh McDermott's character has a big role with the Western lines in the comics. I hope we get more of them, more of him either way. Hmm. So we may see him in Summit then maybe, I guess, maybe possible. Judith has dog, doesn't she? Brian says. And I think that's true. That's right. Carol so, and, and Judith have dog, don't they? Yeah. Which makes sense. Takira says, yes, she does. So I, I think we should wrap this up. It's well, like, it'll just be a quick, it'll just be a quick, just a quick hour. Trailer <laughs> break yeah. Or just well, real quick, two three hours, minutes. Two hour live stream. Yeah. Where's Thomas? We need him. So thank you all for sticking around for this breakdown. We really appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Hey, and if you like what you heard, you know what to do. And if you don't, listen, head over to ratethispodcast.com slash walking dead. Just give us five stars and eggplant. That's all we need to know that you love us. But tell us what you liked. Tell us what you didn't like. Remember to tell us after every episode. Tell us what we missed. And if you really like what we're doing, head over to either ko-fi.com slash walking dead or patreon.com slash walking dead and just follow us. We don't need you to tip us. We don't need you to join a membership tier. When you follow us, you get some of the behind the scenes stuff but should you decide to support us you can either tip us at ko-fi.com slash walking dead for 30 days of support about content as well as some cool perks or you could join a membership tier on either patreon or, Ko or ko-fi for as little as a dollar a month get discord access get unedited episode recordings free stuff in the shop the ko-fi shop and a whole host of other cool perks well i hope to see you guys really soon we have some other cool things that we're editing and making available to you in the next coming days and some really cool fear the walking dead hype for the next couple weeks leading up to Fear the Walking Dead's return. With that, everybody, I've been your host, David Cameo, and I was joined by Cosmo Zero Nine, Rachel Burt, Charity, aka Blazy Gardner, and Bridget, ko com slash Punky Brewster. That's P U N K Y B R U I S E T E R. Thank you guys for sticking around to the very goddamn end. I'm really happy that you guys were here to be with us, to laugh with us, and I hope <laughs> to see you guys again real soon. And I think we will. So keep an Bye eye out. guys. Love you. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.